What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for PlayPicks.com and TheLines.com. Going to take a look at these early Week 6 NFL lines before we get going, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Please like this video. Please leave us in the comments if any of these lines or totals or whatever it might be jump out to you. Certainly something we want to continue the conversation with throughout the week before we get these games underway here. Of course, all the information over at the lines is absolutely free. So just head over to the lines. You can click on odds right here and click live odds and it'll take you to this page that we're on right here. And you can toggle actually between New Jersey, Pennsylvania. And of course, you can go to the money line spread and total as well. So let's go ahead and start with the spread here and moving down. We'll, we'll keep it on New Jersey because we have more books to choose from here over in New Jersey and see how these things really do start to compare. Let's take a look here at the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. 16 and a half across the board right here. You can see it is juiced at a few of the books here, uh, juiced at DraftKings, FanDuel, 888, and Sugar House. So you can see that uh, it is juiced a little bit on the Patriots here. We've seen this number briefly touch 17 already. Thursday night game here. Apparently, Evan Ingram is questionable for the Giants, one of their big weapons. So uh, you can see why this line is where it is and why it's juiced so heavily. They don't want to go to 17 because as soon as it hits 17, it keeps getting back, back down. But uh, probably we'll hit 17 a couple more times between now and Thursday. Take a look at the Carolina Panthers, Tampa Bay Bucks here. Carolina, two-point road favorites against the Bucks. Pretty interesting. We've seen the Bucks, how this team has gone. Of course, they go into New Orleans and get kind of exposed for what they are. And then they go, but the week before, they're over on the road with the Rams and score 55 points, absolutely destroy them. So kind of an up and down team here. Maybe a maybe a teaser kind of play here as well as we look at this thing. If you wanted to take the short home dog up to eight points, uh, something certainly I will be considering as we go on this week. There's actually a few different teaser options this week, so something that we will want to pay attention to. Moving up here a little bit further, we have the Seahawks and Browns, and this was a game that I was jumping up and down. If you follow me on the Twitter machine, so here's a quick little uh, cheap plug for me here over on Twitter. Jersey betters is still there talking about this teaser leg last night during the game. Maybe this is a reason to follow me on Twitter at Matt Brown M2. If you want to, if you're over there in New Jersey, but during the game, they did not pull it off the board and the Seahawks were going off at plus two and a half during the Cleveland Browns Monday night football game. Of course we wake up here on Tuesday. This thing has shifted a full on four points and the Seahawks are now going off as point and a half favorites in this thing. So hopefully you were able to take advantage of that. I was talking about what, a, what kind of teaser leg that thing was. And man, I was all over that. I was able to get the Seahawks up to eight and a half here against this Cleveland Browns team. We saw they just cannot defend the run whatsoever. This, Cle this uh, Seahawks team, that's all they really want to do is run the ball and uh, we've seen Russell Wilson play at you know nearly an MVP level so far this season give me eight and a half points with the Seahawks I'm going to take it all day long uh, still don't really hate it right here but certainly we've lost a ton of the value in this thing Texans and the Chiefs this thing has been on the move this thing opened up at eight eight and a half and is all the way down to five right here uh, pretty much across the board, we see right here at FanDuel, it's even money at five and uh, 110 across the board everywhere else. The only thing I can think of here is maybe people are really, really worried about this you know, injury that we saw Patrick Mahomes suffer uh, with that ankle. Listen, I don't know if there's any chance that he wouldn't play here, but if he's not 100% and he's not creating in the pocket and basically able to escape and do all those things that you know make our jaws drop every single time Patrick Mahomes steps on the field, uh, I don't really hate this line move at all. I see why people were getting all over the Texans in this game. So uh, anyway, it's still sitting at five right now, and you can see even juiced real heavily over here at FanDuel at five. Redskins and the Dolphins. It is the battle of maybe two of the three worst teams in all the NFL. Of course, you throw the Bengals in that conversation as well. And you have the Redskins actually favored by three and a half here. Of course, Jay Gruden gets fired. So now they're going with 
Uh, Bill Callahan is the interim coach here. I don't know, man. This seems... I can't believe I'd say this seems interesting to take the Dolphins, but the Dolphins at home at least in a uh, more than a field goal situation against another team that is just absolutely putrid uh, might be something I'd take a look at as we get closer to time here. I'll dig into that game for sure. This is a game I already got on. Uh, this game, it's popped back up to three here, as you can see, uh, in favor of the Vikings at home. Eagles were... Uh, there are now three point dogs here. I misread how this one was going to go. This one opened at three and then quickly moved to two and a half. Everybody was jumping on the Eagles at three. So I made them part of a teaser leg at two and a half and got them up to eight and a half. I thought maybe this thing was going to get all the way down to maybe, you know, one or even closer. It seemed like all the money was coming in really, really early on the uh, Eagles here. And you can see, I mean, the three is still juiced really heavily over here at FanDuel. But it got back up to three. So people were showing a little bit of support here. So, uh, yeah, we shall uh, we shall see. I thought maybe this thing would continue to uh, plummet, but it did not. It's what I get for betting early in the week. Sometimes I like to sit around and wait on information. Sometimes I pounce on something when I see movement. So uh, it is what it is. Here is an interesting situation right here. Here's the Saints after, you know, all these big marquee wins here, go on the road at Jacksonville after Jacksonville loses in a pretty uh, unspectacular fashion as well. But you see the Jaguars favored in this one. And this is kind of one of those tricky spots here where people are betting on some sort of letdown from this Saints team. Whenever you take a look at what's going on with the Saints, now you're going on the road where they had those two big ones at home. Now you're going on the road against a team that uh, really has a, a ton to play for here in the fact that if they don't win this game, their season uh, chances of making the playoffs really just kind of falls off a cliff here. This is going to be a game you're going to hear a lot of people talk about backing the Jaguars this week and how it's a square play to play the Saints. Uh, so we will check out and see how this goes again. And listen, I talk about all these teaser opportunities this week. If there continues to show money here on Jacksonville and the Saints get up to two or two and a half in this thing, um, even a point and a half where I can get it through the three and the seven and get it on the other side of the seven, something I would certainly consider with the Saints as well. Bengals and Ravens, who wants to play this game? Not me. Sitting at 11 at DraftKings, sitting at 12 at FanDuel, and then 11 over here at 888 and 11 over here at Sugar House. I'm not interested in this game one bit whatsoever. I, it's going to be very tough for me to you know, back the Bengals, even getting 11 points here. It's going to be really tough for me to back the Ravens when you consider just how bad this defense is playing right now. So probably going to be a big time pass for me on this game, but uh, on the slate nonetheless. So we'll talk about it. 49ers coming off that huge win over the Browns now head on the road to the Rams. And you can see three and a half point dogs on the road at the Rams, despite the fact that the Rams have kind of let everybody down here uh, more than a couple of times recently so be interesting to see how this one plays out throughout the week whether people decide that hey this 49ers team is actually definitely for real here I mean listen yeah it's on the road it is within state so it's not even as like it's that big of a trip and then also you look at this Rams team that really doesn't have that big of a home field advantage as it is anyway so getting more than a field goal there for the 49ers Falcons coming in after just being, I mean, one of the most disappointing teams in all the NFL. A lot of people saw it. We talked about it in pre uh, preseason. If you watched any of the videos or listened to any of the podcasts or read any of the articles here, that this Falcons team had a chance to really disappoint. And they are doing that so far this year. On, heading into Arizona as only three-point favorites in this thing. You can see two and a half over here at FanDuel 3 at 888 and Sugar House. But a lot of money coming in at least at DraftKings on Arizona as three-point home dogs here. This thing is juiced all the way to 121 right now. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see if this money continues to roll in to see this thing take a move here. Tennessee and the Broncos. Broncos come off a big win. Tennessee comes off a horrible loss to the Bills. And not so much that it's horrible to lose to the Bills. It's a very good team, very good defense, but... They had so many opportunities. The Titans did. Missed four field goals in that game. Marcus Mariota played about as bad as you could possibly play. They head to Denver as two and a half point 
dogs here. There will be people talking about making this part of a teaser leg. I probably will not be one of them. Again, it is a kind of one of those spots where you can take the two and a half up to eight and a half. So you're moving through the three, the six, the seven. And even the eight at this point with, you know, the much many more two point conversions being uh, being uh, attempted in the league so far this year. But don't know. Going to be tough for me to back this Titans team with as bad as Mariota has been playing as up and down as they have been going. They did release the kicker. However, they'll have someone else kicking for them after you miss four field goals and lose your team the game. Yeah, pretty tough to keep your job. Cowboys and the Jets. One of the more interesting plays. This was I told you that I got down on a teaser uh, way earlier with the Seahawks and this is the game that I connected it to I took the Cowboys down to a point and a half here in this one uh, over the Jets you can suggest by this number that everyone is assuming Sam Darnold is going to play for the Jets here last word we got was he is just doing what his spleen he can't help what his spleen does um, I hope they don't rush him back out there. That said, he did take a lot of uh, a lot of first team reps in practice last week. Just wasn't able to go. So maybe this is the week that he comes back in here. And this is certainly what this line is reflecting. If this was Falk again, this line would certainly be much much higher. But regardless of who is under center, I'm going to go ahead and take the Cowboys at a point and a half as the uh, second leg of the teaser is how I played this game this week. Off the board here for the Steelers and Chargers because we don't know who's going to quarterback for the Steelers right now. As you know, Mason Rudolph took just a hellacious hit. You can see not afraid to roll the number out over here at FanDuel 888 and Sugar House. They are sitting with the Chargers as seven and six and a half point home favorites over the Steelers. I've seen some of these guys come back from these hits way sooner than I ever would have expected. I didn't expect Josh Allen to play. I mean, whenever you if you saw that hit in real time, it did not look like he was ever going to be able to be on the field this past week. And he was able to clear concussion protocol protocol. So I don't know. So maybe Mason Rudolph will be able to go. Uh, probably, I mean, this is something I'm in the information age. I will sit back and just wait on information before I make any sort of play on this one. And uh, to round things out here, Uh, Detroit and Green Bay taking a look at this line we have the Packers as four and a half point home favorites across the board here at all of the places there in New Jersey getting four and a half for the Lions here I imagine this Lions team is going to become a very popular dog amongst the sharp quote-unquote sharp community out there Uh, a lot of people will like to take that you know more than four especially against this Packers team that May or may not have Devontae Adams. He did sit out last week. Of course, it didn't really matter because they were able to run the ball at will. But uh, this Lions team, not going to let them do what they did last week. So Devontae Adams being back would certainly be a big, big boost to this Packers team. So we'll continue to kind of monitor that as well. Don't have a strong opinion on this one. We'll have to dig in a little bit longer. Plus, we have some extra time here as this is the Sunday night game. So certainly don't have to worry about that one as we sit right now but pretty interesting as we go here and again guys you just head over to the lines.com and come up here to odds and hit live odds and you can take a look at all these different things and of course you can click on these things up here if you want to take advantage of some of these uh, sign up offers for the books over there in new jersey and you can toggle back and forth between uh, new jersey and pennsylvania as well some of these totals real quick um, as we just run down the games one of the things that i've been looking for is unders in these patriots games Definitely interested, maybe even in the under in this one, though this has already been pounded down. But the Patriots seem to be just workmanlike on defense, keeping teams from scoring, and then they're not really just going out there and lighting things up completely on offense either. So I'll be monitoring this one as well. One of the other totals that I was kind of looking at here is this uh, Kansas City and Houston. Like That is a lot of points. I understand this Chiefs team, this defense is not very good. But if there is any sort of problem with Patrick Mahomes whatsoever, I think the under is at least fairly intriguing to me in this game. Certainly something I will continue to monitor this week as we, as, as we practice reports come out as far as how Patrick Mahomes looks in that game. One of the other totals that was kind of interesting as well was down here in this 49ers and Rams game. Listen, it just depends on what you're gonna, what you think you're going to get out of this game. I mean, this 49ers defense looks really, really for real to me, and uh, was able to completely just destroy the the Browns. Of course, now the Rams are a different animal than the Browns. 
That being said, 50 and a half, pretty high in this game here, especially against this 49ers defense. If you think this Rams defense can recover at all from their last couple of performances, uh, 50 and a half, pretty, pretty high, pretty high total in that one. And then the last total that I was looking at down here is this Cowboys and Jets. If Darnold plays, certainly something I'm going to lay off of. I don't really care about. But if for whatever reason, Falk is going again, I mean, could you you could easily see the Cowboys win this game 27 to 7, right? I mean, 27 to, to 10. I mean, can't you see that being a very likely score, even 27 to 3, you know, if the Jets are going with Falk again? I mean, like, can't, can't you see them hardly even putting up points at all and being able to do their part in trying to get this thing over? So uh, certainly something I will be looking at is there. And it's maybe a little interesting on the over here at this 47 in the Packers and Lions. I, I certainly think if Devonta Adams is back, Packers offense is rolling right now. And then the Lions I think will be able to put up some points on this Packers team too. So uh, those are the those are the totals I'm monitoring. Guys, please head to the Lions.com. Please subscribe to this page. Everything's free. All the content's free. Everything at the Lions is free. Everything we do at Play Picks is free. And of course, obviously, anything on YouTube here is free as well. Like the video and let us know in the comments if any of these uh, spreads or totals jump off the page at you for uh, for anything, because that is certainly uh, some some interesting lines this week and certainly some teaser opportunities for the teaser players out there. All right, guys, to see, uh, all right, guys, see you guys uh, back here on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday for all of the solo game breakdowns.